Everything you've done to a homeless man because you are so jealous and so dumb is on your life. You see, every person's life gets costed at the end of their life, and every piece of goods you stole from my storage unit and every bag that you took from a police officer who lied is on your life. The policeman who did this will die with COVID. His wife may also. His children could. But the question with God is, should he kill them all? Because God has a right to do that, and what people forget today is their mortality rate. You see, it's not me who's threatening, it's me who's providing prophecy, and the foolishness of you is thinking you own me. You don't own any white man in America, and I'm going to make that really clear. Not as a supremacist, but you're pushing me there. And if you keep stealing from me, you will be producing for you the biggest news story you'll ever see. That you felt as a black woman that you had the right to steal intellectual property through a network on behalf of your company. Because you did it all while you were on the job. And at no time did any one of my people, which would be me and a positive three, allow you to get on our company website, or on our company computers, or on our company thumb drives, or our company T drives, or our company anything in my bag such as marketing materials that might be the simple black and white prints of what I've been producing. And at no time did a Lieutenant Lackus or a Sergeant Stinson or Corporal, what's his last name? Jacobs, I think it was, or Corporal Johnson have a right to give you anything about me. You see, even an A. Andrews is a problem in America as well as probably in Anslow. But when you don't listen, you end up with your life really low because you failed to glisten in the laws of America. And when you fail to do your job by sexualizing my body, pretending that I was a plaything and putting me into a toy network, you literally fucked yourself with rape and all. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth and every single person you've added to this immoral network is going to jail with you. It'll be one of the largest sting operations the minute I'm gone from here. It doesn't matter what happens to me, because the minute that I'm dead, I will be coming right at you through the spirit world, which is the promise of the Lord to me. Because both pagans and Wiccans and Christians and Muslims and any denomination that you see has a right to devout their life to the Lord and literally ask Him for those privileges you see. And you have failed to recognize a man not seeking revenge, but a man looking after God's revenge, because God provided me that intellectual property, God provided me that creative work in, in my visual communication skills, and God did not provide it to you, little fucking faggot, for your justification of your life force. Your life force is in what, its 20s? Or maybe you're a woman in your 40s, and you failed your life because you never learned how to do your life without stealing from people like me. But the company that you work for is now so fucking liable that you can't get out of it because the only way I've ever seen you in my lifetime was through that interesting society network called Neighborly Behavior. And your foolishness was thinking you had rights to me. Your faggotness thought you had rights to play me. And your stupidity about the law will get you caught in everything because the local law might not do their job, but federal law will. And Marines don't have to pay attention to your laws.